Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. This is Mimi B here again with another tutorial. In today's video, we'll be making this gorgeous, gorgeous beaded sling bag. This bag was so incredibly easy to make and I was so excited while making it. This was my first time ever making a beaded handbag and can you guys see how stunning this looks? If you'll be interested in knowing all about this entire process please make sure you watch this video to the end subscribe if you're yet to subscribe don't forget to hit the like button so i know you enjoyed share this video with your friends and family and all that good stuff all right guys let's get straight into today's video to make this handbag you need your beads i'm working with these blue sugar beads you also need your regular hand needle and i'm going to show us why we'll be using this particular piece of item you also need your fishing line i'm working with the 0 0.70 millimeters fishing line feel free to use the 0 0.60 millimeters fishing line if that's what you have you also need your scissors just in case you need to cut something first of all you start off by cutting out a string of fishing line i suggest that you start off with about 50 inches string of fishing line if you are more professional at doing this you can use something longer but because this type of fishing line tends to you know curl up a lot and tangle up i suggest that you work with about 50 inches it's more manageable that way so i just cut out the piece of fishing line that i'm going to be using to start off this entire process the very first thing you want to do is to string your beads and you want to start off by stringing four pieces of beads okay and i'm going to be showing us all how we are going to go about that so you need four pieces of bead you can use any type of bead you like you can use the same sugar bead that i'm using if you want to get the exact same results that i got or you can use any other type of bead that you think you prefer right after stringing four pieces of bead you create a loop by inserting the tip of your fishing line okay make sure first of all that the two fishing lines are equal and then insert one end of the fishing line through the bead at the extreme end so your fourth bead basically and then create a loop you're pulling on that fishing line such that you have something that looks like a loop make sure that you insert maybe like two or three fingers so that your your bead um your fishing line doesn't just come out through that bead and then insert the fishing line coming out of the other end through that loop with this i suggest that you get your beads together and your fishing line and basically go along with me so that everything i'm saying doesn't sound too confusing when you have your materials with you and you replicate everything that i'm saying and showing you'll be sure that everything is going to make sense to you eventually so right after pulling your thread through the loop you need to pull very tight such that you have something that looks like this so four pieces of bead that created like a tiny little cross like kind of shape and you want your loop to end up at the center of this bead so you want your loop to basically be inserted into the bead that is at the center if you get your bead and you pull the way i'm telling us to pull okay i'm showing us again just to see just so you understand what i'm saying so you are pulling on both ends such that this loop right here you see what i'm showing you you want it to enter into the middle of this bead at the center so you need to pull very tightly and get the desired result basically so that's exactly what i'm showing us right here if you did everything correctly you are supposed to have two pieces of fishing line coming out of either sides of the bead at the center so what you want to do is insert two pieces of beads on the fishing line coming out through the left hand side of your you know your small cross like shape and then insert one single bead on the right hand side of the fishing line okay i hope it all makes sense one bead to the right two beads to the left and then you create a loop with that bead coming out of the left hand side and then pass the fishing line coming out of the right through that loop that you created on the left remember to create your loop you are basically inserting your fishing line through the last bead on whatever hand you are passing your bead through so with the second bead on the left you just pass your fishing line through that second bead again and create a tiny loop and then pass the fishing line coming out of the right through that loop now you're going to repeat this same process all the way through till you get the desired length of the base of the handbag you're trying to create for my own handbag the base was made up of 10 um cross-like shapes okay so these cute little cross-like shapes i had 10 pieces of them 
forming the foundation of my handbag you can feel free to do something less than that or something more than that it all depends on you and the size of bag you're trying to create so remember two beads on the left one bead on the right loop create your loop with the fishing line coming out of the left hand side and then pass the fishing line coming out of the right hand side through that loop and pull tightly remember to make sure that your knot ends up at the center of the bead right at the center of your cross okay i'm going to replicate this a couple more times show us how i'm going about it i cut out a very long strip of fishing line to create my own handbag and it was so stressful to manage all right so that's why i suggested at the beginning of this video that you cut out a fishing line that is about 50 inches long if you're worried about how you're going to continue creating your bag if you if you cut a relatively short fishing line don't worry I'm going to show us how to easily you know continue our bead work without any stress even if you run out of you know fishing line space so you don't have to worry at all remember to just cut something that is not too long and you know stressful to manage so this is me just showing us how i'm creating my cross like shapes and then how i'm pulling really really tightly on my fishing line to create my loops and not up my loops okay i'm going to keep quiet now allow you guys watch me go if you've made it up to this point in the video please 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 remember to hit the like button so i know you guys found value from watching this video also if you're yet to subscribe i share diy tutorials a lot of times on here on the channel so you want to be a part of us remember to hit the subscribe button turn on your post notification and feel free to share any one of my videos with your friends and family All right, friends so i have about nine cross-like shapes going on at the moment and now it's time for us to start a new line when creating your handbag foundation or base depending on what you choose to call it to start off a new line you are stringing three beads on your left fishing line and then you are creating a loop by inserting that left fishing line through the third bead that you inserted into that line and then you create a loop with that third bead all right and then pass the fishing line coming out of the right hand side through that loop in case you don't understand please look at what i'm doing and then replicate it on your work and once you've passed your fishing line through that loop you need to pull tightly to knot up the loop okay you want to make sure that you create a very very firm knot so that your bag at the end of the day looks beautiful and firm and it doesn't feel you know raggedy like it's an amateur that made the bag you want to start off you know acting like a professional from your very first beaded bag so this is me just pulling really tightly and after pulling you can see that my fishing line is now tilting to another side of this entire thing you see that it's no more facing upward this time it's facing you know to another side and we are going to start off our work to continue with creating this new line of beadwork that we are doing in creating the foundation of our bag, you want to string two beads on the fishing line coming out of the left hand side of your work and then one single bead on the fishing line coming out of the right hand side of your work. Remember that you watching me is going to look like I'm passing my bead even though I'm passing it on the right, it's going to look like the left to you. So make sure that you are following all the things that I'm telling you in this video. So one single bead on the right hand side of your work and then two beads on the left hand side. If you don't understand this, just flip your already beaded work away from you. And then the bead coming out of the bottom of this work, put two beads there. And then the one coming out at the top, put one single bead. And then create a loop with the bead coming out on the right hand side, which is the top part. And then pass the fishing line coming out of the two beads at the bottom through that loop if you don't understand what i just said just rewind this video 
look at what i did and replicate it on your work if you've done this correctly you will see that your fishing line is now facing upwards and you can now continue your bead work just like we did the first portion of this base of our handbag but this time instead of doing it the way we did the first time when you've done your very first you know cross like shape which is like the second which is starting off the second line what you do now is you pass this fishing line coming out of the left hand side of your work okay you pass it through the bead to the left as well you see the way i'm passing it i don't know how to explain it look at it closely i'm passing it through because i want everything to form one single piece and i went ahead to get my thread picker instead of using a thread picker you can choose to use your needle to push the fishing line through just do whatever you like but i found that the thread picker was easy for me so i used that thread picker to pull out my fishing line through this bead on my left and then what i went ahead to do was pass one single bead through the two fishing lines okay one bead through the fishing line to my right one bead through the fishing line to my left and with the, with the fishing line to my left after passing one bead through i created a loop with that one single bead and i'm passing through that bead and then i pass the fishing line on the left through the loop don't worry i'm going to illustrate everything i just said can you see the way i just passed my bead now i'm going to create my loop on that same bead by just inserting the fishing line through the same bead that i passed you know through the line now that i have my loop i'm going to pick up my second fishing line from the right and pass it through this loop like so and then once that is done pull very tight until you knot up your fishing line and the knot is at the center of this bead at the top i hope we all understand if we still have any questions for me please don't hesitate to leave me questions in the comment section so now that this is done the next thing i'm going to do now is to pass this my fishing line again through this bead on top okay with the fishing line coming out of the left you want to keep passing it through the fishing through the bead on top okay you pass it like that that is what is going to create the base of your bag and when it gets difficult i just pick up my thread picker to pull out the fishing line like so and don't worry with fishing line it hardly ever gets complicated even if it tangles up it's very easy to loosen up so you don't have to worry so now that i've successfully passed out the fishing line on the left this is me passing my one single bead through that fishing line on the left and then i'm going to pass one single bead again with the fishing line on the right create my loop with the fishing line on the left that just came out you know with just to understand this the fishing line on the left usually goes through the next bead in front of it okay that's one thing you can just have at the back of your mind to just help you as a guide when making your beaded handbag so now that i've created my loop it's time for me to just pass my fishing line through this loop like so voila and then pull very tightly to create my knot with this you need to put your back into it okay pull very tightly because if you don't pull tightly your bag is going to feel loose and it's going to affect the overall end result after creating the bag so you need to pull very tightly and then i'm going to just keep repeating this process until i get to the end of my bag and when i get to the end it will be time for us to create the third cross like shape that we are using to create our handbag and that will be all for the base of this bag so i'm going to keep quiet now allow you guys watch the way i keep creating this my beading pattern for my handbag and then when we get to the end i'm going to show us how we are going to turn to create another line of beadwork to create this bag base all right guys so now that i'm at this point you can see that i've already flipped my beadwork away from me so you want it to be pointing upwards and then the, the fishing line coming out at the bottom which is supposed to be your left you string two beads like so and then the fishing line coming out at the top you string just one single bead and then create your loop on that one single bead and then pass the fishing line coming out of the bottom through that loop don't worry i'm going to illustrate everything that i'm talking about so you can just watch me closely
now that we've done that it's with time for us to now start passing the fishing line on the left through the next bead just like what i'm doing you remember the way we did it when we're doing the second line of this our base we'll repeat that exact same process all the way through till we get to the end of this particular line if you want to create a very big bud feel free to create as many as many lines of beads as you like but because i want my bag to be cute and just very portable i decided to do three lines for the base of this handbag and i'm just going to keep you know passing my bead all through to like fully create the third line and then it's time to start building our bag upwards all right guys so now i'm done creating the base of my handbag i have three lines and i'm already running out of fishing line so to end your fishing line stitch or or weave okay because it's more like we are weaving beads this time all you're doing is just inserting that fishing line back into the beads in a seamless manner you want to insert it in such a way that people that don't know would not see that you just you know inserted the fishing line back into the bead so you want to keep doing that and once you've secured your fishing line inside the beads as much as you can you just cut off whatever excess you have and then you now pick up your roll of fishing line again and then pass it through your beads in such a way that you can continue from where you stopped so after inserting the fishing line that you finished up earlier on you want to mark where you stopped and wherever you stopped just pass your fishing line through those spots such that you are able to continue your work so this is me just passing my fresh line through my beads like so and then now it's the time for me to now start building my bag upwards so every single time you run out of fishing line all you need to do is just insert the fishing line back into your beads as many times as possible and then pass a fresh line through your bead and continue your work so this is me now stringing three beads on one single fishing line and then i'm going to create a loop with the third bead okay which is the fishing line coming out you are stringing your beads on the fishing line coming out on your left okay on the left hand side of your work and then after doing that you just pass the fishing line on the right through that loop that you created with the fishing line on the left after doing this your beads are ideally supposed to sit upwards but just in case they're not sitting upwards you can just flip it upwards so that you are able to build your bag upwards okay and once that is done you'll find that you have one fishing line coming out at the bottom and another fishing line coming out on top with the fishing line at the bottom i'm sorry that i lifted up my base and you guys are unable to see but with the fishing line at the bottom pass it through the next bead right beside it okay the same bead at the bottom which is at the base of our work and then with the fishing line on top pass two beads through that fishing line at the top all right and on the second bead which is at the top create a loop and then this fishing line coming out of the bottom it got tangled up at this point that's what i'm struggling with but with this fishing line coming out at the bottom you're just simply passing it through the loop you're not putting in any bead through it the only work of this lower fishing line is for you to keep passing it through this bottom beads to create like a link okay just in case you don't understand what i just said please look closely at what i'm at what i'm doing okay so with the fishing line coming out of the bottom you are just passing it all around and then the fishing line coming out at the top pass two beads through create your loop on the second bead and then pass the fishing line at the bottom through that loop i'm going to keep quiet now allow you guys to look at what i'm doing and then we'll continue in this tutorial
all right to start off with creating the height of this bag i'm going to repeat this process all around and once that is done we will typically have something that looks just like this all right so i'm not yet done at this point i have just one open space to tidy up this first layer okay and with that open space you want to pass the fishing line coming out of the bottom the one i'm pulling on right now you want to pass it through these two beads okay if you've done your own work properly you should have something like this going on so you're passing your beads through these two so you're passing your fishing line through these two beads that i just pointed at and this is what it's supposed to look like okay watch the way i'm passing it through my bead and replicate it on your work voila and once i've successfully pulled my fishing line out of this bead you pick the fishing line coming out of the left hand side of your work put just one single bead through that fishing line coming out of the left hand side and create your loop with that one single bead and then pass the fishing line on the right hand side through the loop so remember with closing up these heights that we are creating when you get to the end you are passing just one single bead to close it up so that you have a perfect you know base and then now it's time for us to now start building on what we just created you see how beautiful it all already looks and with creating another line it's just like what we've been doing so far you are stringing your beads on just one of the fishing line and it's the fishing line coming out on your right hand side okay you're stringing three beads on that particular fishing line and then you're creating your loop using the third bead and then you pass the fishing line on the other side through the loop you just created voila and once you've passed that bead you pull very tightly to create your knot and then the next thing you do now is you have you know you have your beads one on top one at the bottom the one at the bottom you pass it through the bead right beside that fishing line at the bottom i hope we all understand if we don't just watch the way i'm doing let me just finish pulling on my fishing line very well all right so this is me just showing us what i've done so far so i'm just passing this fishing line at the bottom through the next bead okay like so and then once i've passed it through if i need help with pulling it out i just grab my thread picker through it all right so that's how you just pull it out like that and then now you just put two beads on this fishing line at the top okay you string two beads just like we did the base remember how we did it exactly we are just repeating that entire process all over again till we create our desired height okay so two two beads you create a loop with the second bead okay and then once you've created that loop you pass the fishing line coming out at the bottom through that loop and then we'll just repeat that again whatever fishing line is coming out at the bottom pass it through the next bead string two beads on the fishing line at the top create a loop and then pass that fishing line at the bottom through the loop and that's how we are going to go all around this our work that we just created like i said earlier i ended up doing six lines of bead work to create the height of my bag i could have gone higher but yeah like i said i wanted a cute little bag so i didn't want anything too dramatic so feel free to do that i'm just going to keep right now allow you guys watch the way i keep passing my fishing line and my beads through and then we'll move on to the next stage in creating this gorgeous gorgeous beaded bag
all right friends i hope we are still following so now i'm already on my fourth line with creating this my handbag and now i'm just stringing three beads on the fishing line coming out on my right hand side okay and then i'm creating my loop with that fishing line and then i'm creating my loop with that one single bead and then i'll pass the fishing line on the left through the loop okay and then that's how i'm going to do again till i go all around and create my fifth oh no it's my fourth line okay like i said i did six lines eventually i just wanted to just show as much as possible to you guys so just in case you get confused and at any point you can just look at what i'm doing and replicate it all right so i'm just passing this fishing line at the bottom through the next bead and then i'll string on two beads on the on the fishing line coming out at the top and create my loop and then knot up whatever it is that i have going on again i'm going to keep quiet allow you guys watch what i'm doing um gentle reminder if you've not liked this video okay i put a lot of time and energy into this video and i would really really appreciate it if you guys could just please 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 hit the like button for me to just show your you know appreciation thank you guys so much all right guys so this is me just showing you guys the number of lines that i did so apparently i did seven lines and this is what it looks like eventually look how stunning and just beautifully made this looks the secret of achieving something like this is to make sure that you knot up your work really really well and make sure that the knot ends up at the center of your bead okay and pull very tightly so that your work feels very firm and professionally made so now it's time for us to create the flap for this particular handbag but before we create the flap this is me just securing my fishing line i remember like i said when you want to start afresh with a fresh you know line just pass the previous line through the beads as many times as possible and then pass your fresh batch of line through your beads so now that i've passed my fresh batch of line from the extreme end of my bag where i want my flap to start from i ended up stringing two beads on one single fishing line which is a fishing line coming out on my left hand side i created my loop with the third bead okay remember you're stringing three beads create your loop with the third bead and then just pass just the single fishing line through the loop okay i don't know if you guys understand everything i just said but just try and look at what i did and replicate it on your work this is us just as if we are trying to create another line but this time this line is not going all around this line is just on one side of the bag because we are creating our flap and just like we did earlier once you've done that you now just pass your fishing line the one coming out at the bottom through the next bead string two beads on the fishing line coming out at the top create your loop using that second um bead all right and then the fishing line coming out at the bottom pass it through the loop and i've said this a couple of times in this video so i'm sure you guys are even tired of hearing me say it but i just want to keep repeating it till it sticks and you guys remember to do this when you're creating your own work so i'm just going to continue doing this pass the fishing line at the bottom pass it through the next bead string two beads on the fishing line coming out at the top create a loop and then pass the fishing line at the bottom through that loop so i'm going to keep quiet now allow you guys pay attention with creating this flap i ended up doing about nine lines remember that this time the lines are not going all around the line is just on one side of the bag because this is what is going to serve as our flap but not to worry i tried my best to show you guys everything that i did so watch closely and pay attention to everything that i'm showing on the screen 
while doing this. So I'm going to keep quiet now, allow you guys to watch, and then I'll come back later. all right guys so you could stop here and create a style you just do like halfway kind of beading bomb for me i went ahead to just string my beads all the way to the end and this is what my flap looks like i already reached the end of my fishing line so this is me just inserting it through the beads to secure my work and that's pretty much it for creating this um beaded handbag the next thing i did was adding um, a strap to the bag and adding the magnetic clasp for closing up the bag but i'm going to show us how i did that in another video this is just a video on how i created the main handbag if we want to see the video on how i created the clasp and the strap for the bag let me know down in the comment section and i'll be sure to share that video really really soon thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you all learned and enjoyed this video and if you do go ahead to recreate this work please feel free to tag me in your posts on any of your favorite social media platforms my name remains the same for me be Olawari. 
thank you guys so much again for watching this video and yeah guys i can't wait to see you in another tutorial very very soon bye bye